Uh, well, as we know, there are tremendous challenges uh, in the world today, uh, both in water and in sanitation. Uh, and so it's been exciting to see the level of engagement uh, and the innovative ideas that are coming from the students here at UNESCO IHE, because that's what we're going to need. We're going to need um, thought leaders and innovators to, um, to come up with new approaches to solving some of these challenges, especially in a world where the stresses on our water supplies, you know, we fear will, will only get uh, more difficult in the face of climate change. So we need innovation, and uh, I'm excited about the young people here uh, driving that future innovation. Well, sanitation is, is, is a key requirement. It's something that uh, in the developed world we take totally for granted. Um, but scientists look back on the development of modern sanitation as one of the most important advances we've ever made in terms of improving health and increasing longevity. So obviously sanitation is a huge opportunity to improve health outcomes and, and to relieve, uh, reduce the, the burden of disease. But it's also a tremendously important investment in dignity. Um, people who don't have uh, opportunities to um, deal with kind of their natural needs every day uh, don't, aren't not living uh, lives of dignity. And so we think that that is another incredibly important uh, outcome of investing in sanitation. Well, uh, I believe it all started from uh, my predecessor, Frank Rieberman, um, who was fully aware of the leadership that UNESCO IHE was already providing in the water and sanitation sphere, uh, and knew of the, um, the mission here to really invest in innovation that would have global impact. Uh, so I think that he saw a very natural fit from the very beginning. Um, our, we made a grant, a sizable grant, uh, and it took a, a big leap uh, into a partnership with UNESCO IHE back in 2011. And it was focused on, uh, on really helping to provide scholarships uh, for students to learn about non-sewered sanitation, the area that the, we at the foundation are most focused on. Uh, focused on five um, uh, postdoc uh, students, 20 PhD students, and 60 master's students. And I'm excited to, to hear that uh, we already have over 40 uh, graduates from the Master's of Science um, program. And I believe most of the PhD students will have graduated by the end of this year. Um, I would say that uh, uh, for all the goals we had when we began this partnership, um, we are meeting or exceeding uh, our expectations on all of them. Uh, so as I mentioned, tremendous uh, successes in graduating students, students that now uh, understand not only um, what is traditionally done in uh, sanitation, but um, what's state of the art and, and, uh, and that are actually contributing to the state of the art already and through their thesis work and through their um, work already in the field. But um, there'd be many other innovations that we actually did not foresee. Um, whether uh, they are the, uh, uh, the new hybrid programs or uh, tremendously excited about the, about the online programs in uh, Fecal Sludge Management and the, and the Fecal Sludge Alliance that involves many other universities in delivering the, um, this online course that came together very quickly and that we see, even though it's only been available for a very short time, uh, already has more than 500 students who are, um, who are committed to, uh, to sign up and, and engage. Uh, we've also contributed, uh, we've seen the delivery of, uh, of new updated uh, manuals and, and textbooks on fecal sludge management and on experimental approaches to, uh, to wastewater treatment, which uh, I was lucky to be present here just yesterday when, it, when that was unveiled. And that, those are other um, ways that uh, UNESCO IHE is really advancing the state of the art and the state of thinking. Um, and then I, I would also say that, that those are all the what has been delivered, but the how um, everything has been delivered has also been, I'd say, uh, has greatly exceeded my expectations and, and those of my team. Uh, the way that uh, UNESCO IHE has worked in partnership with so many different uh, uh, universities, uh, whether that's um, AIT from Thailand, uh, UFMG from Brazil, ITB from Indonesia, 
two IE from Burkina Faso, KNUST from Ghana, MUI ENR from Uganda, VCT from, uh, sorry, UC, University of Cape Town from South Africa, and Univale um, from Cali. It, I mean, I had an opportunity uh, to meet um, professors from uh, these universities yesterday to see how they've been guiding the students through their, uh, through their work uh, and to see the remarkable partnership um, that all of these educators have uh, and how the UNESCO IHE has really nurtured this broad set of partners and how, as a result, I believe the curriculum and all the training is going to be dramatically more relevant for having an immediate impact on the ground. Uh, so that, I think, is one of my big takeaways from the last uh, few days that I've been here, but also from, uh, from this program, is to, to see um, how, if the investment and the time is really uh, put in, and uh, if the investment in trusted relationship across universities to leverage each other's expertise can really be uh, nurtured, that tremendous partnerships can um, can result. And I think that the students are the great beneficiaries of, of those partnerships. I would say we, we still, we're making great advances in understanding uh, how to do a better job of delivering non-sewered sanitation uh, and what it looks like to build plans at a city level that really can address everyone, not just the wealthiest, but even the poorest uh, communities of the city. Um, but there's still a lot of innovation to be done. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity to deliver technologies, uh, but also new approaches, new business models, and new financing approaches to make sure that we can accelerate the adoption of sustainable sanitation. The, um, it will take a lot of money, and so financing is a significant challenge. Uh, the estimates are that to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals uh, 6.1 and 6.2 will require you know, uh, over three times as much in terms of capital investment as is currently happening in WASH uh, today. But really, even more importantly, uh, too often the focus is only on capital investments and investing in infrastructure. And really what's needed is not only the financial support to operate and maintain these systems, but the human capacity. Uh, and the governance structures, and, and the business models and other mechanisms, uh, new models for public-private partnerships, uh, to really become mainstream so that more and more people can be receiving the benefits of sustainable sanitation at, at sustainable uh, cost to governments and to households. Uh, that's why that human capacity component, of course, is what we are um, so excited about with the UNESCO IHE partnership, is we need more and more professionals out there who understand how to plan, uh, how to model, and then how to implement new systems of sanitation, uh, and how to keep them going, and how to continually evolve and make them more efficient, so that uh, every dollar invested in sanitation can go that much further towards achieving the sustainable development goals, which are quite aspirational. You know, I, I personally feel very lucky to be able to be a part of this team. Uh, my team, the water sanitation and hygiene team at the foundation, the foundation team more broadly. But really our team, it, everything that we do at the foundation, we do through partners, uh, through our grantees and, and the partners we contract with to, uh, to try to actually, you know, do the work on the ground and, and invent the new approaches. And so that broader team, uh, it's very exciting to be able to um, help convene uh, all this expertise and talent at, at times and to uh, invest in some things that um, uh, maybe are very high risk, but if they're successful, have the potential to dramatically improve uh, what's possible in the realm of non sewer sanitation. Uh, so personally, I get a lot of excitement and enjoyment out of being a part of this large group of experts, uh, young and old, who are innovating in this space. Uh, I, I get excited by impact. so. Um, I'm not focused myself uh, on the academic outputs uh, so much as the outputs on the ground, how it really impacts people's lives. And this is an area where we have an opportunity to dramatically change kind of the trajectory of history. Uh, 
we have not been making good progress in sanitation. If you look at the Millennium Development Goals, we have to do much better. Uh, and I'm incredibly hopeful that with the work that our partners are doing, we can do much better. And that's what makes me excited to you know, go to work every day. Uh, well, I was also uh, I was honored to be asked to speak at the, at the graduation ceremony this afternoon. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to basically celebrating the graduates that have done so much work uh, to get to this point where they're, they've earned their degrees and they're going to be stepping out into the world with all this new knowledge. They're really the leaders and uh, the innovators that we're all counting on uh, for, for years to come. So it's a, it's a great uh, honor and an opportunity and uh, I'm really happy to be here.